Good morning, I'm Charlotte Deleste. And I'm Rob Starberg with your Channel 3000.com headlines for Tuesday, August 14th. Voters casting their ballots for the GOP candidate who will face Democrat Tammy Baldwin in the race to replace retiring U.S. Senator Herb Cole. According to recent polls, former Governor Tommy Thompson is the favorite. He's been in public life for nearly 50 years, including 14 as governor. But newcomer Eric Hovde is making a big push. He describes himself as a businessman and outsider who is best positioned to tackle the federal debt. Former Congressman Mark Newman has the support of many in the Tea Party movement. And State Assembly Speaker Jeff Fitzgerald ties himself closely to Governor Walker. Four Democrats are facing off today as well, hoping to replace Congresswoman Tammy Baldwin. State Representatives Mark Pocan and Kelda Royce have both touted their experience as state lawmakers. They say their knowledge of how the legislative process works gives them an advantage. Also on the ballot are two political newcomers, attorney Matt Silverman and businessman Dennis Hall. The winner of today's race will face Republican Chad Lee in the November 6th general election. And Congressman Paul Ryan received a mixed reception at a stop at the Iowa State Fair yesterday. It was his first stop on his own since being named Governor Mitt Romney's running mate. He spoke on the soapbox, a political tradition at the Iowa State Fair where candidates are given up to 20 minutes to speak or take questions from the crowd. A huge group gathered to see Ryan's speech, but just a few minutes into his remarks, two women interrupted, tried to take the stage and were removed. Ryan continued later telling reporters he's used to it. You know, you know, in Wisconsin, we've been dealing with this sort of thing with these recall elections. It was an overwhelming crowd of support, and it was exciting to do it. And I love coming to the fair. President Obama was also in Iowa yesterday touring a drought-stricken farm and blaming Ryan as part of why a farm bill has yet to pass the U.S. House. Congressman Ryan will go to Denver and Las Vegas today. This has been a Channel 3000.com update.